Hey everyone, so I've been playing a bit of Udyr the last couple of days and trying some different versions out. I was originally recommended Akshan Udyr and it definitely worked, but I wanted a second champion that would work better with Udyr's stance swaps and what came to mind was Victor or Vi. Vi I thought would be really good with them, but having your champs um, cost the same felt a bit awkward and so Victor made a bit more sense, but then when playing it, I just really felt the lack of having like deny and Rite of Negation just feels too strong in this meta at the moment to not have it with an Uder deck since you're going like and committing so many resources into like one unit. Yeah, so the first champion is Udyr. He just got buffed recently. He used to like needed you to damage the enemy Nexus I think like seven different times. But they changed it so that he only needs to play stance swap three different times. And his ability is that when you summon or strike you get one of these stance swaps. And if you already have one you reduce its cost to zero. And so the different stances you can have is the first one is Bear Stance, grant an ally plus 2 plus 2, Wild Claw plus 2 and Overwhelm, or Stance, 2 health and regen, and then Ram, which you target one thing and then deal one to everything else. And then once you've played three of them, you level up, and then you still have the same effect, but you gain plus 1 plus 1 for each stance you've played this game. And so a lot of the times, you're going to have at least one stance played being like the plus 2 health and regen usually, so he'll be a 6-7, but then you're probably going to play like an Overwhelm one as well, so he has plus 2 and Overwhelm. So he'd be like an 8-7, and the third one doesn't really matter that much. You could put another like regen or overwhelm on a different unit you have. Maybe you want sort of a board clear with the ram stance and deal one to everything. But so at minimum, you're usually going to be like an 8-7 with overwhelm and regen. And then once you level up, you're going to get those three extra for the stances. So you're going to end up being like an 11-10 overwhelm regen unit. Like by default, just after playing three stances usually. And if you played the bear stance, you'd be at 13 attack. And you can play them fairly easy because there's other ways you can get these stand swaps in hand. And so as soon as you play Udyr a lot of the times, you can already immediately play a zero cost one. Plus you can usually strike and get another one by either like attacking or blocking. Or even the multiple strike spells we'll have in the deck that we'll get to in a second. But yeah, just after this patch he's just so much easier to level up. And pretty quickly he becomes this just like giant stat stick. It's almost like the new Pantheon, like a Freljord Pantheon. And the other champion is Akshan. He's a 2-2 with quick attack. When you play him, you summon this Warlord's Palace on the field. It has a countdown of 8, but when you target allies, you advance it by 1. Or when you play an Akshan or a strike with Akshan. Then once it pops, you get this Relic of Power. You get to pick one out of Predict and then draw one. Summon a Sandstone Charger, which is this 5-2 Ephemeral. Or grant all allies plus 1 attack. You're going to be able to achieve some damage with a Sandstone Charger, but for the most part, you're going to just Predict and draw 1. Just really good value. But once it's finished its countdown, he levels up and then you start getting this Warlord's Horde instead. And this has the same countdown of 8, with the same conditions to like speed it up. But this time you get the Sentinel's Horde when it pops, and you get the choice of either this Absolver's Resurrection, grant all enemies vulnerable, and create in hand a zero cost copy of the strongest ally that died this game, so really strong. A lot of times people just use Font of Power, you get to draw 2, and your cards cost 1 less this round, so you get like these really crazy big going off turns. And against a lot of matchups, honestly, you don't even mind giving plus 2 plus 2 in Spell Shield, especially to your Udyr. This is all your champions everywhere, right? So whenever you eventually draw an Udyr, if you don't already have one, it's going to get Spell Shield, which can really help you out. And so Akshan just ends up bringing a lot of value. And so the supporting cards for Udyr are Vulpine Wanderer. It's a 2-drop, and when it's summoned, you create a stand swap in hand. And so this is the, one of the ways I was talking about how you play this Wanderer at some point before turn 5. And then once you play Udyr... Because you already have one in hand, it immediately costs zero. And so a lot of times you're playing an Udyr and immediately having like a 5-6 regen unit, which is really strong on turn 5. We also have Hyara Allseer. When it's summoned, you create a stand swap in hand, and the first stand swap you play each round costs zero. And so this is a really good unit to pair with Udyr. It basically immediately gives you a zero cost stand swap, and then allows you to play one every turn for zero mana. Then can get out of hand really fast. And then we also got this new card, Inner Beast. It gives an ally plus one plus one this round, and you create a stand swap in hand. And so everyone's comparing it to Pale Cascade, because it is basically the same thing. Pale Cascade gives plus one plus one, but then if it's Nightfall, you draw one. Whereas this gives plus one plus one, but you get a stand swap. And so it's sort of like a better Pale Cascade in an Udyr deck, right? And it's pretty cool, so if you use it early to protect something, like probably Auction, preferably, because he has a small amount of health, then you get that stand swap, and it's another way to have one in your hand when you play Udyr to immediately be able to play it for zero cost. Yeah, it just makes the Udyr that much more consistent. Honestly, the rest of the deck is pretty simple. Tether Seeker is just a really good one drop. Also gives you that Waking Sands, the 5 to Ephemeral. Troll Chant, probably one of the best battle tricks in the entire game. Gives an ally plus 2 health to give an enemy minus 2 attack this round. 
you can actually use this to like make sure that two different combats go in your favor and keep two of your units alive. It's really good for protecting your Udyr right away because right away he's sort of vulnerable to damage but after you get like a couple stances on him he's almost unkillable to like damage removal but it's pretty good to have one early also to protect your other units like Akshan. Then we have the Desert Duel. It gives an enemy minus two attack this round and then an ally and that enemy strike each other. So Akshan works off strikes and so does Udyr, so they really like these strike spells. And the addition of Desert Duel just really helps um, Shurima be a bit better. Because before, if you wanted the strike spell in these regions, you kind of needed to use Akshan's champion spell, which is awkward because it makes you target a unit first. And a lot of decks can't do that very efficiently. And again, it's very important to have interaction, especially good interaction that synergizes with both the champions. Tavern Keeper just heals and is a decent unit. Vagabond advances the Warlord's Palace by two, or gives you one if you don't already have one. Quicksand is a super good card. Since they changed it to now it's able to go between two different enemies instead of just one. It's kind of like a staple to Shurima now. You can give an ally minus four attack or two different enemies minus two attack and you get to disable their positive keywords. This is really good against elusives, overwhelm, I mean uh, kind of anything right? Then we have Siphoning Strike. Siphoning Strike is kind of a troll card. You could just drop these and run like an extra desert duel. But the main reason you have this in there is that, well first of all it's an extra strike, and then it can buff all of your allied champions everywhere by 2 plus 2. It also doesn't require you to get struck by the enemy like Desert Duel does, but the main reason you want to run this is because of the Howling Abyss. The Howling Abyss is a 6 cost landmark. On round start you create in hand a random level 2 champion that's not in play, deck, or hand. And it's a really fun card, it just every turn you get really good value. It's really slow though, because like playing it on 6 is pretty late in the game where if you play a 6 cost landmark, usually you're going to die. And so, it's definitely not essential to this deck. But I do kind of like it, just in some slower matchups it can kind of help. It has a really fun card. And so when combined with Siphoning Strike, because it grants all allied champions everywhere plus 2 plus 2, every champion you end up getting is not just already level 2 and pretty broken, but it's also buffed in stats and it just makes it even more fun. But yeah, if I did have to change the deck, I might like cut Siphonings, add an extra Desert Duel, cut the abysses and then you have three slots extra so you can kind of do what you want with. Again, it's definitely not bad in the deck. It's just a card in general is not super competitive. Probably the most important card of the deck is Rite of Negation. I mentioned earlier that this is kind of the main reason to be in Shurima. There's just too many important spells to deny in my opinion in the meta right now. And so any other version of Udra I've played, I just was really salty not having this. Yeah, just a really fun deck. It would honestly surprise me. I hadn't even bought all copies of the champion um, before the last patch. Because just every time I seen Udyr, it was like the freest win. It had like a terrible win rate on like every every version of it on like every website. But once they made these changes, I think they actually buffed his attack. Um, they also made this inner beast card and they changed his level up. And honestly, I think he's actually really good now. Yeah, honestly, I haven't played like a million games with Udyr. And so I might change my mind in the future, but as of right now, Udra actually feels really strong to me. And there legitimately might be a version out there, maybe even one similar to this one, that will be tier 1. Yeah, so try it out and let me know what you think. But that'll be it for me. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you even liked the video, it would really help me out. And as always, if you want to see me play anything in the near future, you can leave a comment below. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks. Alright, Zoe, Aesol, so we got, what is this, Airman versus Celestial Dragon, hmm, okay we got our Akshan, nice, um, our glasses are just for protection right? Same with uh, Rite of Negation. I can't be threatened right now, right? From anything in his, re in his regions. And then now we have protection for the for a long time. Now we have, we have basically only protection, right? <laughs> Holy crap. We need to draw an Udyr by like turn 5, hopefully. Oh, Vagabond's a good top deck. Okay, good. He didn't like threaten it or any anything. He's still not playing any cards really. He's just trying to ramp really fast. So you can try to put a lot of pressure on.
We got Uder next turn too, which is perfect. Uder. The stand swap is not. Like, I can push extra damage, right? And um, not get punished. Cause I think I'll have three mana. I think I'll do it. I'm gonna test it out at least. Yeah, cause this will stay, right? And so I just I basically get to do one more piece of damage. And um, and then I play Uder next turn. It'll reduce to zero. I already have this popped. He made Uder cause zero. Huh. This is like a bad spell. Really. Uh, can I keep this dude alive? I can, right? Oh, can I just deny that? I mean, all it gets rid of is these two units, right? Which I could just protect with a troll chant. I don't have to deny that. I probably have to use Ox on the block anyways, which kind of sucks. I mean, it'll give me more strikes to start working towards the horde, right? Could do a sandstone charger. Seems kind of troll. I think I just play with here. Sure. I get another strike. I'll look for what I want to do. Oh, this is good, right? For next turn. Start getting like free swaps. I grant an ally. I want to be able to kill that thing, right? It's gonna go. It's gonna go to eight. It's gonna go to back up to eight attack and five health. Storm comes. I mean, I might as well do this for now. I guess that's usually the first one you do with Udyr, I think. Should I ever do this? 1-1 one, one, and be 6-7? And then when I put another 2 on? Eh, we'll see. This is fine for now, I think. Another auction. Can we play this, though? Your will nothing kill you. <laughs> Your foul smell might kill me, you dear. I can get, I can do some right of negation if I have to, or anything crazy he does. But I think, which stance do I want? Probably like the plus two, plus two, right? Oh, I could have attacked with this, um, all seer, I think. Not good. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, screwed. I could attack with this, but then he can just eat it. I can't really take that, right? I have to freeze, I think. Let's take eight. Probably do this thing, right? 
for free. Welcome to the tipsy house. Mm. I mean, this will um make Udra able to like carry with anything. I mean, he can't even attack it, huh? I mean, now he can strike and kill these things. I need him to strike this, right? I didn't really want to pop the Sentinel Sword this turn, actually. He strikes and now he gets a stand swap. What does he do when he levels up? You have plus one for each stance you play this game? Okay. So I have to do this. Maybe actually this, because I don't think drawing two and reducing them is that good on this turn. Why just doing this and giving them spell shield? And then give overwhelm to this dude. I have a big ass Udira spell shield now. This deck feels uh, it's so strange. I've literally never played Udira before. This is my first game, I think. I didn't have it. I didn't even have it. Um, Udira bot before this um patch. <laughs> it was out of cards as well. So. That's actually such a perfect draw. Have you come to aid your old friend, young fox? Yes, old man. He heard your call. Okay. That's fine, right? I could deny that, couldn't I? I don't care if it gets denied, right? Yeah, that's fine. The only thing has one card left. I'm pretty sure I'm able to now. Yeah, since it has 10 attack, both these things, I want to give um, plus 2 an overwhelm to this, this uh, auction. Alpha I have spell shield, so he can't even like, do anything. And even if he did, I have ramification for it. Oh, thank god. Yeah, it's smoked, fool. So now we do this. I think we attack with this too, right? Fuck it. Let's go. Ah, dude, this deck is so weird. Like, I didn't, like, I just fumbled through this whole game. But then you end up with this gigantic spell shield, like basically OTK Udyr. <laughs> he did actually kill them in one in one strike. Holy shit! <laughs> Wait, this deck might be really fun. I always thought he was so shit. Maybe the changes make him actually good. Ooh, Ash LeBlanc. Um, I mean, wouldn't Quicksand always be good against them? Feels weird to keep it though. But I mean it's pretty good. Like it beats like reckoning if they have it. It beats just LeBlanc in general getting rid of getting rid of um quick attack. Quick hands make quick work. Um Yeah, we talked like Akshan. That's kind of scary. I mean, quicksand, it's okay, right? We can quicksand and make it only do one damage. We also troll chant and make it a survive with one attack. Let's have some fun. Yeah, I guess we just troll chant, right? We target Akshan, 
and we um keep him alive and we get a strike nice Oh, now I have no other protection, huh? Well, I guess we have this. You can't do any strikes. I can make this free next turn. When I play Auction. I mean, when I play uh, Udyr. And then I can still Quicksand, so I probably do that. I want to attack right now. If I put this on, um... I mean, even if I do this, I could, like... Riddle steal me or something like that because he's playing Ash. Maybe I just pass, I guess. Kind of feels bad, but not a really great move from me to here to do. Um. Yeah, I guess this is fine, right? We can honestly quicksand. I think I'm down to save it for like protection for Udyr. If he tries like bloody business. Yeah, play the plus two plus two first. Um doesn't really matter. But we can do like the regen one after. He's not taking any damage this turn. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. The auction levels. We can um Oh, that's a pretty good spell to get. We can look for something else. Actually, do we just stand on Charger? Hmm. Probably just drawing is better. Just card advantage. This is pretty good, actually. Find his keeper. Does he already have Udyr? If I can like freeze this, right? A troll chant. Hmm. Like quicksand doesn't actually kill my Akshan. He doesn't level up his LeBlanc. But I might want a siphoning strike. I don't want him to have the the. I don't want him to have the um, ability, but I can't do everything I want this turn. If I just let it happen, I am everywhere. hope I don't regret this. But I feel like there's just I don't have enough mana to do everything I want. I get something free every turn now. I could honestly just kill that if he doesn't have any spells. Very unlikely though. And I tap out. It, now his whole turn's basically done. Might as well just like give this thing the regen, the um, regen as well, right? Have two things. Cause he probably has like some flash freezes and stuff, um, being in an ash deck. So probably like trying to split up my damage sources is probably good, yeah. But see, like, that's probably why I like this Auction version. I've been trying to mess around with the different versions. And Auction having right of negation is just really good. I think that in this meta right now, you really just want the deny. Like, that's a good example of it right there. Ooh, Jarvan and Garen. I kind of hope I get smoked low-key, because I really want Garen to be good.
Okay. Hey, no units? Love to see it. Boom, we got Akshan. You know how it is. Dude, because he plays that one drop, it really makes me think he has like a, a sharp sight. Because why didn't he play it the first turn? Unless he top decked it, I didn't notice. Man. I have urgent news. Fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I mean, you could have done with the two drop anyways, but. I really was thinking, like, I should probably play around it by just passing and then I can inner beast. Or just play like a Van. Uh, Vakarin. It is what it is. Take this. We're not taking it. We're taking it back. Damn. Then we have so many stances. Enter okay. Years take experience this will die. I mean, this will get a free kill. They will sing of our deeds. If you hurt him, you won't leave a scratch. Oh, I guess I could just do this, right? Uh, maybe I should have that for Jarvan actually, right? Kinda reacted to that too fast. You could protect it, funny enough, with like double inner beasts. This seems troll though. I mean, you already wasted the barrier, right? This unit? I mean, it's actually a really funny play to just double inner beast. I don't have much going for me. Kinda down. I get to like predict. Why is he GGing me? Ashan's already leveled. Well, I mean, Udyr is pretty solid, no? Maybe this is Akshan. I don't really want my Udyr to get dragged next turn before I have enough stances on him. If I hit, if I do, if it dies, you get the bonus, right? I need something to die. If I do it onto this, my Uder gets pumped. If this works, I lose to what? Single? That's it. Look at a strike. Hmm. Okay. You could drive in here to really suck. Yep. Yeah, but use a single ready, use a concerted. Use a lot of stuff, so now I can kind of go ham on Udyr, I think. Of the land, hear my call. I 
Okay. Plus two plus two. I beat sharp as well. I get a strike to put this back on. You can't like cataclysm or anything. Approaching the battlefront. Now I get the Sentinel's Horde. Honestly, granting all enemies vulnerable and creating a zero cost copy of the strongest ally that died this game is probably Auction, which is not bad at all. Um, but also, this is obviously nuts. This is not even bad. The spell shield is okay. Makes it pretty safe. But only really from concerted, right? So I don't think I need to do that. This is not bad. I could do a stance and attack this turn, level him up, but I don't think I would kill him this time, so I probably need to do this and like guarantee kill some things. I only get I thought it'd be Auction. Whatever. Um probably do a stand swap. Now um Uder's leveled up. He's gonna be chunky. I can drag this into this and probably kill like Battlesmith because that's annoying. That pushes a lot of damage. Oh shit. Okay, so we have a 13, 12, <laughs> Udyr with regen, and this can block anything, so we're only taking like, what, 5 here? No, never mind. Oh god. Shit, I mean, we're fine, right? We just block this down. He goes up to, um, he stays at 6. The highest health unit he has is 6. And, um, we're gonna open attack next turn, so we don't care about Jarvan's. Like challenge from his level up. His one card, I don't think is that scary. And this is Rally, right? Rally is the main scare. But with Troll Chan, I think we're fine. Yeah, might as well just do it again, right? And then we drag um, the 2-2. Two -two. He hasn't surrendered yet, which is kind of interesting. I think we're fine. Like 18 health, what can he really do to that? Should be good, right? Big ass Udyr against Demacia. Ah, it's too lit. Too lit. Dude, Udyr has been like smoking Demacia. So, I mean, at least in my experience. It just feels like Brilliard Pantheon, honestly. <laughs> oh no, Echo Zillion. Uh, this is a, a fast deck usually. Can't keep that. I kind of want to keep Udyr. Because it's like Auction on my turn too. We'll find Wander on 2 or, th or 3 or 4. And then um, Udyr pops down, makes us uh, stance free. Alright, he gets free th 2 damage. I guess I lost the game. Please don't mystic me. Please don't mystic me. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. Just out of breath. Silence 
Okay. He's not predicting at all yet. He might be okay. Okay. Our eyes see two hidden paths. We will slow them. I almost don't care about Oxhan anymore. I, I really don't want to take this damage. Like, I'm too scared of this deck. I'm too scared. Ah, maybe I do take it. And I just Tavern Keeper next turn. Cause I, might, I don't have that great of a turn this turn. Yeah, I probably trolled. I just take it, I get the heal back up, keep my auction for this attack. What do you call two time traveling birds, Echo? A paradox. Also, wow, Zil. Wow. Okay, three damage. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a sand, a quick sand. Just out of three. Took a few timelines, but you're okay now, right? Head in top side. This is our path. I think I'm fine. He didn't get the strike anyways. I don't really want to give him like a chance to kill my Udir. Uh, I don't want him to make it weak this turn, I guess. I figure he's not going to get weak this turn, so putting the region on it this turn doesn't really mean anything. But like, he technically could and I wouldn't be able to attack with it. I'm really happy that he hasn't got that many predicts off this game. I think I play high R, right? Next turn, gives me a stand swap. And I go in for the attack. I, I I go for a Hyara. Probably hit him with the overwhelm. Start getting some damage in. And it's not perfect, but look. If your prediction is correct, we have much to look forward to. Your will nothing kill you. <laughs> it's possible I should have went last turn for the um for the strike with the desert duel. But usually whenever I've done that in the past, they just have a burst speed one. So they just predict and level them up. Is I, I mean, it's probably better that I did it last turn though. Threaten him last turn before he can like, get a rally. We get a relic of power. I right. Just, like we only have two in the deck, and um, we want to be able to stop the rallies. I think that all we really need to do is attack with this one. We don't really want anything else to like die and get rev get revived. Our stories, our struggles have built this empire. He could rally this turn, so I don't really want to give him anything. To spread around. Like his attack's kind of scary. But we can deny his rally. But like, yeah, I think we're fine. This is fine. So yeah, we're gonna go for the um, plus two plus two. We already have overwhelm. Oh, we got regen. We can go for the plus two plus two on him. It'll immediately pump him up a bit of stats because of how his um, his his effect. 
That doesn't really do anything, right? I don't think I mind this. Like, it's kind of annoying that he gets to keep both of these alive. Like... Yeah, plus two, plus two. Killing one to everything else is honestly kind of funny. But then it just kills everything, right? I think I do this. Uh, I don't know if it matters. I think I just need to go, um... I can just kill him with Overwhelm, right? Like, you already used a, um... A what? A quicksand? If he doesn't have another quicksand, I'm just good. I mean, sure. So we can only afford one thing that I, so I can write. I think I strike the echo. And if he does have the rally, it uh, doesn't matter. I think he's doing this because he has the rally, right? He's like, oh nice, I don't care if you kill my if you kill my dude. He did get it. <laughs> yeah. And we just go, no thank you. I don't even want to risk doing on this, even though I probably could just kill this, there's no point. Sort of mana gem. I think he's screwed, right? His Echo can't come back. The highest health unit he has is three. Um, I could diversify my damage a bit. I think I just go in. He has quicksand as one of his like only card basically. Guess he got me. Nice. Yeah, putting over one that is not even really enough, so... And Quicksand could just be split, right? Between two units, so it doesn't really matter if I split it up onto my second unit. This Quicksand can always beat me, I don't think he has it. Dude, this deck actually feels so strong, like, it's it's really just... Because of the right, in my opinion. The right of negation. Like, having Deny in the meta right now is so crazy. I've tried, like, Victor versions and stuff like that. But, um, just, again, like, any kind of control deck or, like, any... Deck that has a lot of spells, which is like pretty much every deck I play against right now. You need if you can't deny it, then you just can lose the game. And so that's why I think is the main reason why Auction version ends up being the best. If there's a version with Ionia, it might even be better. But the only thing I'd imagine with Udyr would be good with an Ionia would be Lee Sin. And I really don't want to be that guy playing Udyr Lee Sin. 